Good morning. It's about 11.22 today. Today is 14th of December 2017. And let's talk about Nifty. So as many of you have written me that you said that Nifty is going to go up, but Nifty has fallen. So, you know, um, I really am very, very, you know, uh, not understanding what is going wrong. But since, you know, you, you can see what we can do, we can only predict the future based on the past, right? Now, as far as the past is concerned, it looks, you know, this is how it has happened. But whatever may be the factors, you know, the international markets are not that negative, but Nifty is going down, right? Maybe it's the effect of the Gujarat elections that are coming up or I don't know what. But to me, you know, even still, I will wait I mean, I have a feeling Nifty should still give us some positive returns, you know. I am pretty much sure that Nifty in a day or two or Monday or Tuesday should take a support and go up. Or maybe by evening, today is Thursday. Maybe tomorrow we can see a turnaround happening in Nifty. So how am I saying so? Let me explain you with the help of option chain, right? So see here, 10,000, we have the highest call put writing right 88 lakh contracts have been written and 25 lakhs 2 lakhs 55,000 have been added up right so that is the highest number means the broader range the the lowest nifty can go is 10,000 and if you see on the upper side this is where 10,500 where the highest number of calls has writing has been happening right so this is the upper ceiling. So 10,000 to 10,500, this is our broad range. Okay, now let's see what's happening at the current level. Where are we right now? In cash market, we are at 10,161, right? And now for us, the ceiling comes at this point, 10,200, all right? And the next ceiling comes at 10,300. So if it crosses by some struggle 10,200 then 10,300 is uh, you know definitely in sight but today as of now where we stand it looks little weak to me it looks little weak to me all right I will have to wait for MACD RSI to cross over once that happens then only it will be in the positive zone so wherever we stand nifty doesn't look to me in a positive zone you know nifty is little weak only how much down will it go we can't say anything and one of the level that i can tell you from here looking at this point so this is a very crucial level wherever it is right now that's a crucial level if it can support that level right then there is a possibility for it to bounce back right this is a crucial level if you see here let me draw a line for you probably that'll make more sense so this level is a crucial level, right? So see, when we sit in the market, market has all probabilities, you know, like these are these are our levels, you know, Nifty, if it holds this level, it may bounce back, you know, and then maybe if it further goes down, that's the next level, 10,162 in futures, right? Nifty should hold these levels. If it crosses this, then the next level will be pretty much low somewhere here right this will be our next level 10,125 and if it breaks that then it will be 10,100 uh, that's our next level and if it crosses that then it will be 10,058 these are 10,060 these are all future levels that you get right so mark them see them watch them see what's happening to me, you know, if you look, if you ask me on a very, very broad perspective, so Nifty is having the immediate resistance at 10,200 level, right? That is its immediate resistance. If it crosses that, then it goes to 10,300. That is what my stance on Nifty is, okay? Okay. Now, today, the stocks that I did talk about and we did trade in was, one of them is Dr. Reddy. 
you can see the beautiful run up it gave the mo mo moment morning range was broken we entered into it and it has given a good beautiful run up so i mean i'm going to show you dr reddy how beautifully it's been going up ever since we bought it it has been in the uptrend so as i have been telling you how do you have to trade morning trades you have to look for you know morning range breakout in 15 minutes right morning range breakout in 15 minutes once the morning range breaks out you can put the marking of that and then you can i mean i don't know what's happening in zerodha zerodha keeps troubling me so here it's bringing it back again and again nifty graph only so let's see here if i could get this one i don't know why it's not working this is very very embarrassing you know like such a huge concern zerodha has become but they don't don't give proper services i don't know for what reason you know i am not a person you know who can or technologically go from here to there and here to there I have to look at it I don't know what's wrong I mean so anyway so wh how, what we traded in we traded into uh, uh, you know trades let me show you here I don't know why is it behaving like that <coughs> so one of them was Dr. Reddy one of them was Dr. Reddy's lab and the moment this morning range was broken, right, this morning candle was broken, we entered into it. 10, uh, 2289 is when we entered, right, and it has gone up to 2209, right. So we were, we were only trading for about 11 points. So from here to R2, from this point morning range breakout to R2 is what our target was right another trade that we have done is the hind petroleum right hind petroleum so let me just show you that hindustan petroleum corporation so here also when the morning range broke here we entered into this 429.3 is our entry price and it went up till about 430.8 this one point is what we have accumulated right these are all morning trades morning trades means you have to trade within next few minutes only you can't hold them for longer you know one of my member has done trade in titan so beautiful trade he has done so this is the titan a nice selling opportunity and he has you you must have seen his you know trade on the telegram so we, we, we have just posted his trade. You can see he's really, really generated good profit. So all of you who want to learn about the market, you know, see here, this is what he has done. The, uh, uh, Titan cover order he's bought in 12,750, right? And he got, uh, he, he's got the money here. He's, uh, you know, shorted and bought it back at this. Similarly out here, right? So identification of current trade matters a lot you know when you identify a correct trade he shot it somewhere here 829 and bought it back at 817 good points beautiful trade right so if you want to learn these kind of trades how do you identify how do you trade in them then please you know you must really learn about the market and once you do that, you will be able to enjoy the good run up, the, the run up in either of the direction that market provides you. So I am not exiting my position. I am holding my position in Nifty. I am not exiting it because I feel, you know, this is just a temporary, you know, just a temporary trap. After some time, maybe not, if not today, tomorrow, maybe on um, Monday, you know, uh, the Nifty will have a turnaround. So just hold it you know that is what my suggestion is don't get panicked and those who have bought EIH and all all of them are going to be fine just hold for a while because until nifty becomes positive all trades will be negative only so this is EIH limited that's what we have given to you so 
hold it, hold it for a while and I'm sure you will be able to get good profit out of it because see it's not breaking its, you know, low, it's not, it's holding above that. I'm pretty much sure that we will be able to get a good profit out of this particular trade, alright. So still it has not opened, you know like, but Nifty definitely looks negative to me, right, Nifty definitely looks negative to me, but in spite of that Dr. Reddy is up and even Hin Petro is up. Two or three trades we did BTST. So two, the two trades that we did was Apollo Hospital. One was Apollo Hospital, the other was OIL, right? Apollo Hospital. <coughs> Apollo Hospitals, we bought it yesterday at this point, somewhere here, 1185. And morning it opened at 1203, giving us good about 18 points. That's the run up this BTST call has given. The other BTST call that we had was um, OIL, right? We bought it at 356 yesterday. We bought it at 356 yesterday and it opened gap up. It opened at 360, giving us good four points. You know, like that was our BTST trade. One trade was this, the other trade was Apollo Hospital. So these, both the trades have done really, really well, right? So if you want to learn these kind of trades, if you want to trade in equity, if you want to trade in future, if you want to trade in options, you should definitely look for joining in our program. And you know, we are now be starting on 6th of January. And I'm really looking forward to see you all. And now I just wanted to request that I'm going to be traveling for the next 15 days. I'll be in Germany, but I'll be making videos for you guys every single day. Right, the way I've been making, I'll try doing the same way, but I probably may not be available on phone. You can WhatsApp me and be in touch with me on WhatsApp, other than, you know, uh, that's the way you can communicate to me. So I will be uh, waiting for your messages or anything that you want to communicate me with through, but uh, really, really look for, uh, you know, uh, somehow to be able to learn about the market. Once you learn about the market, your trades will be in the right direction and you will be able to create good money, right? So one of the trade that also was on my radar was Indusind Bank, right? Indusind Bank. The trade that I had was Indusind Bank and it was a trade of sell, shorting it. So morning only gave us good profit. Starting from this one one six four seven, it went down to one six three seven. Again, it went up and again experiencing a resistance and going down. Right. So this is one trade that I had for shorting. It was a shorting opportunity. All right. So let's see. Nifty though is just falling, you know. But I still am saying that I'm not exiting my trade. I'm holding it. I'm holding it with the trust that Nifty will actually, I can't open there, you know, I have to have it here. Nifty, so here, Nifty is just falling down, you know, like it has crossed its average traded price, price, so it is in the downtrend, you know, now the next support that I can see here is 10,143, another 10 points below. If it holds there and bounces back, fine. Otherwise, Nifty has a has at least 100, 150 points can are gone nowhere. You know, like we knew it yesterday only that Nifty do will definitely go down today. Okay, but if you have created position, hold it, hold it, hold it because see this is not intraday trade. We have to hold it for about uh, at least next week or so because it's it can't go below 10,000. You know, this is what if we have the capacity to hold for 150 points, but I believe it should bounce back before that only. That's what I believe, that it should bounce back before that only. But if it doesn't do, then the last point that it goes to is 10,000 10, 10, only. Yeah. So uh, whenever you trade in Nifty, you should have enough margins so that there could be, you know, if it goes 100, 150 points down, no matter, because we know it has to bounce back, right? So I'm holding my position. I'm holding my position. I'm not exiting Nifty because I still believe that Nifty will 
go up. It has a huge uptrend lined up because the international scenario is not that negative as Nifty is behaving. So let's quickly see what's happening in the international market also. Hang Seng, what's happening in Hang Seng? Hang Seng is positive, it has fallen down and then it is going up. Then let me check in Nikkei, what's happening in Nikkei? Nikkei, what's happening in Nikkei? So none of them is showing any major sign of, you know, going down. So I don't see why Nifty also has to continuously fall. I Wait a sec, this has to be 15 minutes graph, right? Let's see what's happening in Nikkei and what's happening in Hang Seng. So the international markets are also a little weak, right? There has been a fall in the international markets. These are Asian markets. So I think Nikkei is really recovering from the bottom and have, hoping that even Nifty should bounce back from here. Let's see. I'm pretty much positive about it, right? So good day guys and continue watching my videos, keep sharing my videos with others because there is some concern that I have really have is that my channel is not growing and my, you know, uh, views are not increasing, you know, so I'm just wondering what can I do, you know, like how can I really change that aspect of my channel, that is something I'm trying to figure out, this is my Hindi channel, uh, right? So I'm just need your help in sharing my videos with others. I'm sure if uh, with your support, my channel can grow. People can get good, you know, understanding about the market. And, you know, so what I'm requesting you all to please share my videos with others. And probably, you know, uh, they will all be able to learn from here. Okay. So with this, I'm signing off. But I am just waiting to see you all there on the... Uh, uh, in my webinar. All right. Good day. Bye bye. See you. The chart has still not opened. This is Zeroda, which is creating so much of problem. So this is Nifty. Nifty is, you know, if it respects this support S1, it should bounce back. Otherwise, another 50 points gone nowhere. Right. So good day. Bye bye. We had a good trade in Dr. Reddy and Hindustan Petroleum. These were two of my trades. And we had two BTST trades, OIL Oil and uh, Apollo Hospitals. So do these kind of trades and learn about the market. Good day. Bye-bye.